Oh, welcome back to Devil's Advocate and pardon our rather abrupt ending. The entire system <laughs> went down. Yes, the good old internet flood cut out on us. Damn it technology. Is, it <laughs> Where, why doesn't it behave when you need it to? I'm uh, going to blame my biorhythms. There you go. Uh, Give technology we, a break. It's to blame for everything, you know. It's only the humans that are as good as, you know, it's only as good as the humans using it. And my biorhythms can knock things out. But there we go. So where were we? We were we're talking talking about about, yes, we were. Um and and the crusades. I think we were ending at the crusades, and or perhaps we ended on the case of the Pope, the rabbi, and the Imam. Um there's a joke about that, I'm sure, but we won't do that here. Um so the Crusades was more a case of, oh, and you can see me in this anyway, so there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, there they were giving the Pope of the time money in their land, so the Pope was promising them a place in heaven. I do have to wonder whether that's where they went, though. You know, bloodshed right. and gore. Um, yeah. This is from Islamic history, the Saladin Ottoman Empire. Um, mm-hmm. And again, that was religion. Um, and... The, in the Bible, there's a story of the, the Jews that have fled from Egypt um, going to battle or wiping out the Canaanites so that they could go and live in Jerusalem. Um, so, yeah, we've all done it. And at the moment, you've probably got Buddhists. I, I have heard that some, some groups of the Buddhist monks are, are getting upset about everything and they're getting a bit nationalist <laughs> and oh really go. yeah yeah that's yeah. interesting actually because um, their as whole to thing what they want to be right peace it's also a peace and meditation and love so that's interesting that this is actually starting to cause a ruckus within that group of people and you can't blame them everyone's getting angry about it. you know you're seeing this country and with everything that's going on in the world and you're seeing this country just being bombarded to shreds and you feel hopeless you know you almost want to like jump in the screen and like give that person a hug or like pick up that little cat that's trying to find its like way back home and it's yeah. in rubble and destruction and yeah. it's just so sad to see you know a lot of us humans are empathetic and unfortunately there's a whole lot of us who aren't so mm. and a lot of other people are like it's not real which is just well don't get me started on that <laughs> i think we just did that um <laughs> so yeah so you're taking a look at nationalism and i would reckon that the, the war in ukraine is for like very nationalist let me just show this picture in full in relation yeah. to the fact that with regards to what the ukraine provides economically to right. the world would be for example wheat it was said to be the wheat basket or bread basket of the region um and then of course gas and while this is like petrol for your car you've of course got natural gas as well i mean this picture is back from the 1970s you know if you think you've got a gas problem now or petrol problem now 1970s i remember that oh you know i'm aging myself just by remembering it gosh that's crazy like who would have thought that that was actually like that's just mind-boggling to me that you were out of gas like out of all the things that to run out of gasoline well no that's yeah. like one of the sources of the world that's like what we all need which is well sucking, again you know true. suddenly you're without your resources oh where are we going to get our bread from well yes ukraine or russia provide i think it's seven i can't remember the seven or fourteen percent somewhere between there of the world's wheat right um right. so the fact that russia would want this considering that the larger expanse of the Russian nation is mostly pretty much like Canada, rock centuries, and I said no. <laughs> we yeah. have heard about outer Siberia. Um, so yeah, and, and Europe has become very reliant on this natural gas from right. Russia. Um, and the only time I'm specifically of a mind to believe in nationalism is on the economic front. Right. Uh, and, plus, and I think where by civic here, they might mean sort of like your infrastructures um okay. and stuff like that uh so that that's your water supply your public transport electricity your if you've got resources such as water resources like canada has a lot of natural resources water resources but we also know holding five percent of the world's fresh water in the northern part of america that it is important that we share it and not give it away to nestle <laughs> 
absolutely you know you know um and people are prepared to start wars over that and the first thing that they blow up when they start that war is all this you know you know your water yeah. supply your gas supply your electricity supply your nuclear you know but well, that's so just so many wars we're unaware of mad. When yeah, there's so many wars that we're unaware of. Like even here in Canada, natives can't even get like fresh, clean water. It's a war well, in itself. Again, you know, that's the whole thing about them selling it off to Nestle. But it's the same thing with Russia. They want these resources. Uh, although in the case of Russia, if you listen to some of the news at the moment, they're saying, oh, yeah, we only really, really, really want this region that's set right in the south, right by the Sea of Azov with the port of Mariupol. Um, I think they call the Donbass region right. um, so they kind of like want this corridor and i can kind of see why um yes. based, bearing in mind that most of russia's coastline is a <laughs> up at the top <laughs> or well, they don't have it they've got the black sea they've got the sea of azov or they've got to go by the pacific through this volcanic ring of fire yeah. um, which is the pacific rim a uh, ring of fire right. um and yeah so you can kind of like understand why they want the access route but surely war and sending in so-called separatists because the specifically those russian separatists that are the nationalists they right. want to be of another nation though they want to take uh, over the yeah, world yeah and they're trying to take the land and everything that's only a few of them because uh, the russians have been, had fierce opposition down there you know they, it wasn't a cakewalk it hasn't it's still not a cakewalk yeah you know so, and it's it's just it, it, it just comes to me like they're just literally trying to take over the world like world domination it seems from well, russia but the moment you've got every other country in the baltic states so you're talking estonia lithuania latvia um yeah and you've, you've yeah. got belarus which is basically now playing neutral right or saying that it will play neutral but russia what if russia will still want to use the entirety of belarus to come charging <laughs> through and it could take out a bunch of freaking there's poland there's hungary there's romania yada yada so poland of course has got this huge border and all of these other ones have got either borders with russia or borders with belarus or combined borders with this that and the next thing so yeah. you know and because and a larger percentage of them are NATO countries. And the one thing that Putin, I don't think, reckoned on is not just NATO, but right. the unity that this has brought to Europe. Right. I right. mean, Portugal might think it's out there on a limb there, but it is still part of Europe. It's still part of the EU. It's and true. While it may be only send medical assistance, it's also part of NATO. So, you know the moment russia's stray bomb goes flying into one of these nato countries or nato attached countries mm, you know yeah. i don't even want it's a road i'd rather i really really hope <laughs> yeah. a road that is just never ending you know, you know? i mean a... do we really have to do that we promise never again what is this you know I exactly those pictures for never again but i think i deleted it um <laughs> Because it is, is it, why why have that up there if you're going to just go and repeat the same crap because it's of, so I want to be the king or I want to be a dictator or I want yeah. what a country used to have because I'm trying to, I want to make Russia great again. Now, what does that remind you of? Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. The Trump 2016 campaign. Yeah, exactly. And that is just such a dangerous thing. To be like great again, like that's such old archaic. Yeah, language. there's nothing that brilliant about the good old days, mate. Yeah, exactly. Like, why are you looking back there? Let's be progressive. Let's look forward and stop saying dumb shit like that. Like great again. So it's like, well, times change, people change, religion. Well, religion doesn't change, but politics change. Well, you know, you know religion is only as bad. Religion, <laughs> like anything, is only as bad as the people who are sit standing on the pulpits preaching exactly. it you know because well, they preach yeah. to the choir but hang on a second hang on a second are you actually preaching anything decent this is what we're asking there you go and religion gets manipulated a lot yeah yeah it gets it manipulated does. and um <clears throat> for the wrong things you know i mean you know 
Well, and let, will let, preach you're sinning for loving a certain person, but you know, as I said, Jesus is all about love. Stretch this a little further, and you have got hide me again here. Nationalism on the the Indian flag, and I'm just using India as an example. I'm not, uh, you know, kind of pointing fingers, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, sure. But you've got the Hindu nationalists in India, yeah. which is Modi part, the Modi's party, um, and they are killing Uyghurs along with assistance from China. And That's again, they, they're saying it's nationalism and it's religion. It's nationalism in the fact that this is all space up here, that the Silk yeah. Road and all of this part of the countries in this area need yeah. for the Silk Road and for economics. It's all right. about the economics. So they drive <laughs> it through fear. And there you go. what can I say? That is us for the day. Whew, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> but hey, at least you know we're in real time here, despite the there fact that we're using stock photos. Stock photos. You can use them anywhere. We'll try not to repeat our usage of them. Thank you very there much. You and it's from me, Tracy. And me, Alana. It was great speaking to you guys. It was great delving into this topic again with you, my love. And like. Oh, yes. Where am I going? Where, 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 where? Like. And Boom. subscribe. Subscribe. We are Devil's Advocates and we are signing out. Love you madly. Bye. Bye.